Okay, welcome to lecture 4-2. Now we're talking about the sensory systems, just like we talked about the motor systems, but now we're talking about the ascending components, uh, the white matter tracts within the spinal cord. So we've seen this slide before, but again, this time we're adding <clears throat> the fact that these tracts are somatotopically organized. We see that fasciculus gracilis is responsible for the sacral and lumbar portions of the spinal cord. So it's conveying information from the abdomen and from the lower limbs whereas the wedge-shaped fasciculus uh, cuneatus, which is what cuneatus means, wedge-like, uh, is responsible for the thoracic and cervical uh, spinal cord, so upper limbs as well as uh, through the neck. <clears throat> so those are conveying uh, the same types of information but from different parts of the body. The anterior lateral components uh, uh, named after the anterior and lateral spinothalamic tract, which are separate, uh, are also somatotopically organized with cervical portions more uh, deep and the sacral portions more superficial uh, in the spinal cord, closer to the edge. Uh, so these are responsible uh, for the entire length of the body, but they convey predominantly, anyway, different sensations. <coughs> So the anterior spinothalamic is going to convey uh, dull pain instead of sharp pain. And it's uh, anterior spinothalamic is going to convey crude touch, deeper sensations like the Pacinian corpuscles are gonna go through uh, predominantly the anterior as opposed to the lateral spinothalamic tract. So lateral, uh, more of those uh, more generally does the sharp pain and temperature. <clears throat> then, so those four are the conscious uh, sensory components of the white matter tracts. The two unconscious that we're going to talk about are the posterior and anterior spinocerebellar tracts. <clears throat> now notice how these names are uh, formed too. So in the motor systems we had corticospinal because they started in the cortex and went down to the spine. Here we have spinocerebellar or spinothalamic because they're starting in the spine and then going up to a different region of the uh, central nervous system. So uh, just in general terms, again, we've categorized uh, these different uh, functions of these different tracts. Uh, and moving on, uh, we'll talk about <clears throat> how these tracts start with the sensory receptors. Uh, so here are those sensory receptors we just talked about, the free nerve endings, Meissner's corpuscles, Pacinian corpuscles, uh, etc., etc. <clears throat> those are part of the peripheral process of a dorsal root ganglion. The central process of that dorsal root ganglion is going to ascend in one of these different tracts. So here we're talking about the uh, gracilis and cuneatus fasciculi. Uh, so the first order neuron is the dorsal root ganglion. The, uh, so those are going to synapse on, um, uh, those are going to actually ascend and synapse on a uh, medullary nucleus uh, called the gracilis or cuneatus nucleus. <clears throat> so those fibers are then going to ascend through the medial lemniscus, this little shaded area here, in the uh, upper uh, medulla. <clears throat> so now we're following that second order neuron, uh, which was uh, originated in the gracilis and cuneatus nuclei as it ascends into the thalamus. So those fibers from the uh, cuneatus and gracilis nuclei crossed at the level of those nuclei and then ascended to the thalamus. Uh, the third order neuron in the thalamus uh, then exits and projects to the cortex, where it will finally synapse, and you'll get that conscious sense uh, of that information in your layer four of your cortex. So here again is this now familiar picture of the cortical layers, or drawings of the cortical layers. So we talked about how layer five neurons are the primary output for motor functions. Well, uh, layer four neurons are the primary input layer uh, for sensory uh, information. So thalamic nuclei uh, enter and synapse on layer four. 
uh, to, to give us that conscious sensation. Anything that doesn't enter layer four sensation-wise is not consciously detected by our bodies. <clears throat> so now we're talking about the spinothalamic tracts. And again, you can follow this information. Here we have the dorsal root ganglion. <clears throat> Those will synapse in the dorsal horn. So the nucleus cuneatus and gracilis from, from the, uh, those fasciculi, those are analogous to dorsal horn neurons, but they're located in the medulla, in the brainstem. Here, we're at the level of the dorsal horn, so we're going to synapse in the dorsal horn in nucleus proprius, uh, primarily, or perhaps substantia gelatinosa. Uh, and then that information is going to immediately cross at the level of uh, entry, at the spinal cord level of entry <clears throat> within the anterior white commissure. And then it will ascend in either that anterior or lateral spinothalamic tract. And those axons, as they enter the spinal cord, they are going to organize based on where they're ascending. So within the lumbar or sacral regions of the spinal cord, those uh, spinothalamic tracts are very small because you only have components from the sacral portion and then from the lumbar portion building up more medially. And as we get higher in the spinal cord, these axons start converging more medially uh, as they ascend so that eventually we get to the cervical portion of the spinal cord and those axons uh, you know, enter the most medial portion of the spinal cord, just go up a short distance and then synapse on the uh, thalamus, uh, particularly the VPL of the thalamus. <clears throat> then those third order neurons are gonna exit the uh, thalamus and enter the primary sensory cortex behind the central sulcus of the brain. Now we have two uh, automatic, non-conscious sensory tracts that I'm going to tell you about, and those are the spinocerebellar tracts, the posterior and the anterior. <clears throat> so these are responsible for that uh, unconscious proprioceptive sense, the sense of where our body is in space. And so this information uh, helps our cerebellum automatically balance our body by modulating our core and appendicular muscles. So the posterior spinocerebellar is going to, uh, so these, all of these neurons travel, these uh, axons travel along the uh, posterior rootlet. Uh, they, these in the posterior spinocerebellar tract are going to synapse on the dorsal nucleus of Clark. <clears throat> uh, so dorsal nucleus of Clark is located in the dorsal horn, but more medial toward the central canal uh, within the gray matter. Then uh, those neurons from the uh, dorsal nucleus of Clark will curve back toward the outer portion of this uh, spinal cord and ascend ipsilaterally, ipsilaterally meaning the same side. And it will travel through the inferior cerebellar petungle on the spinal cord to get to the ipsilateral side of the cerebellum. <clears throat> So it will terminate then within the cerebellum. And we'll talk about the cerebellum in much more detail later on. So this track is entirely ipsilateral. The anterior spinocerebellar tract uh, enters the ipsilateral cerebellum, but it crosses twice to get there. So first, <clears throat> that's a sensory, uh, that central process will synapse on a spinal border neuron toward the edge of the dorsal horn. It will cross in the anterior white commissure, ascend on the contralateral side, uh, and then it will cross in the midbrain at the decusation of the uh, superior uh, cerebellar uh, peduncle. So it will cross through that uh, decusation of the superior cerebellar peduncle and enter um, the um, the original ipsilateral side of the brain, ipsilateral to the side of the body that the sensation originated on. <clears throat> so to get a better understanding of where dorsal nucleus of Clark and spinal border neurons are located, I've shown you this slide uh, from a uh, section of the spinal cord. You can see 
dorsal nucleus of Clark here and the spinal border neurons there closer in the uh, intermediate gray matter in the spinal cord. All right, thanks for listening. That's it for sensory tracts. Be sure to study those in detail. Thank you.